Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to go over some features of gas turbines and jet engines analysis, which are covered in chapter 8. The simplest cycle in gas turbine, the ideal cycle is known as the Brayton cycle, and we'll also touch upon several modifications of it to improve the efficiency and performance, uh, reheat, regeneration, intercooling, etc. Uh, to study jet engines, we develop the momentum equation in this chapter and use it to develop formulas for jet thrust, propulsive efficiency, etc. Uh, just to give an idea about the gas turbines uh, that the test steps can help you analyze, this is the ideal Brayton cycle uh, represented in the TS and PV diagram, as you can see. Uh, it's basically a, a collection of open steady devices, if you notice, connected back to back. So it's very important that uh, to study gas turbine, before you study uh, gas turbines, you're very familiar with the open steady analysis of, of open devices, because each component of a gas turbine is such a device. So the simple cycle can be complicated. This is the actual cycle. Uh, we can introduce reheat as shown here, and there'll be three different pressures in this system. Uh, there is, this is an example of the simplest regeneration cycle, and you can go over the animations and study chapter eight to learn more about gas turbines. As far as uh, the jet engines go, here is a turbojet engine uh, schematic, and you can see several different types of uh, engines, but for, as far as analysis is concerned, uh, the jet engines, we are interested in finding the thrust and propulsive efficiency for which uh, we need the momentum equation, which is also developed in chapter eight. Using the momentum equation, we can get a formula for, for jet thrust, which has a momentum component and pressure component. And the idea is that these formulas may not be in, the, in a separate panel, but in the IO panel, you can use these formulas to, uh, to develop this auxiliary variable to evaluate those variables. So let me quickly go over a, a, a simple gas turbine problem. We go to the test step page, and where do we find our correct uh, app to launch? Of course, it will open system. We'll follow uh, the specific branch, and in the specific branch, as you come down, uh, vapor power and gas turbine cycles are here, gas power cycles. So essentially, you can start a Rankine cycle, the steam turbine using PC model, or one of those gas models can start uh, you know, you can solve a gas turbine problem. Obviously, pure gas will be most of the time our, uh, you know, the working fluid, such as PG model or IG model, or could be a mixture model. For instance, suppose uh, you want to model the gas flowing through a gas turbine as a mixture of, say, nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide to have better properties. So it's possible that you go to the mixture model, set up a mixture, and use that as the working uh, fluid. But we'll, we'll right now use air as the working fluid, and I'm picking PG model right now, but IG model will obviously produce better answers. I mean, more accurate answers. Okay, in, in this hands-on examples page, you can see several gas turbine problems solved in order of complexities. Uh, we'll pick one of those and just go over uh, first the test code, and then we'll probably use it to regenerate the solution. So let's say example three. Uh, here, here, are, here is the test code for this problem. Uh, you can see that in the beginning of the, the test codes, all the states are defined here. There are six, there are altogether seven or eight different nine states, and there are six devices, as you can see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, six devices. This is a fairly complicated problem, but you'll also notice that there are some uh, overall parameters defined in the as user variable, like pressure ratio is 12, uh, pressure ratio of the high pressure turbine, three, maximum temperature, etc. So that makes it very easy to do parametric study. So let's go and copy this test code and go to the test app page, uh, launch it by clicking this tab, and we're going to just paste the test code, and load. Sometimes loading doesn't complete the calculation. You may have to 
do supercalculate to finish the calculation. Okay, so each date, as you can see, uh, this is the date one, two, three, four, etc., are all calculated. Uh, as you can see, it's date two, the pressure ratio is used to find the pressure. This is the first compressor. Go to the graphics panel, all the calculated states are shown here. Uh, if we draw a constant pressure line through state one, that better passes. There are three different pressure recall. Uh, if if we pass one through state two uh, and one through let's say state five, you can see there are three different pressures in this. All the states must fall there. Uh, to zoom into a particular part of the plot, you can just uh, you, you can just select that part, drag and select, and it will be kind of zoomed in. So, so as you can see, we can zoom into a particular part of the. So this is obviously the turbine one one through I'm sorry, uh, four through six, and seven through nine, and the vertical lines are isentropic turbine and the other ones are actual turbine because I think the turbines have efficiencies in this particular problem. If you go to the device panel, you'll find each device is already calculated because obviously we loaded the test code, but as you, as you know already, for a given device, you load the inlet and exit state, uh, enter what you know about this device, either the work or heat is probably known, therefore you can calculate the unknown variable. Uh, once all the devices are calculated, uh, the cycle panel automatically put it together and for instance in this case it finds <clears throat> all the relevant quantities such as um, thermal efficiency uh, etc. Uh, thermal efficiency uh, of B BWR, back work ratio, net power etc. Notice I haven't touched upon exergy here but uh, if you include exergy you, you can also calculate the many exergetic uh, exergetic information you can obtain uh, but I don't want to go into there because in that case you have to go back to each device and solve them you know keeping exergy in mind so I'll sh I will use this little time to just show you another problem let's say uh, a problem on jet engines uh, as you can see in this case it's almost like a gas turbine solution except the last device is the nozzle which creates the jet velocity. So uh, as you can see the thrust and uh, propulsive power, propulsive efficiency etc. can be calculated in the IO panel once all the states have been calculated uh, for, this, for this jet engine. Uh, pretty much it follows like a simple gas turbine for, for, for first say diffuse, uh, except for the diffuser and nozzle, you'll find compressor and turbine and, and heat exchanger very familiar from a gas turbine analysis. So I'll stop here because the gas turbine problems can be so many and you will find a bunch of them in chapter, uh, chapter eight. Uh, there's a ton of problem there. So you can, each of them can be solved using test steps.